Friends, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to take a look at uh, one machine on the one hub, which is source. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download and play the machine. I think this machine, if you can take very uh, standard methodology, it will be very easy to do. So without further ado, let's just get started. Yeah, very important. Uh, this machine works fine, works better with the VimWare rather than VirtualBox. Okay, so now we can switch over to the Kali Linux VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use, as always, would be NetDiscover. So as you can see over here, I use the options I to specify the interface to send out the package to discover the machine on the network. As you can see, the IP address of the target could be identified as 100 and 54, 55, sorry. So what are we going to do next? We need to do the port and surface scanning with a map. To save time of this video, I've already completed before. So for now, we just cut out its result. So as you can see, I use the option like since scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and followed by the dash p dash to do the full range port scan. Very important option for this case, otherwise, uh, some port number cannot be re re recognized as we uh, expected. So the last option for all is ON to output the result into this file. So from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has one, two open port numbers. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and also the version information. Of course, as we know, this version is, although it's a bit old, but I don't think we can find any workable vulnerability for this version of OpenSSH. The second one is 10,000, which is running HTTP surface and also give us the version information, mini server, and even give us the exact version number. So how to do before we, you know, we, before we do anything else, we can use such a sprite utility to see there is any vulnerability for this uh, surface or this application, mini, serve, however, nothing. Uh, you, you know, sometimes this is not the um, uh, right keyword to search. We can use the web mean instead. As you can see, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of exploits we can use. Even Metasploit has some modules for this one. So I think, uh, you know, as you can see at the bottom, yeah, this one, this is a remote code execution. So before we try to use the exploit manually, it would be wiser to use Metasploit, okay? Also, if you want to use Google, for example, if we, I pop up the Google, so the mini serve, and uh, the several, li several links, and one of them, as you can see over here, this one, this is an authenticated remote code execution exploit, which is so wonderful because this is an authenticated. It means that we do, need, we do not need to bypass any authentication. We can go directly to utilize this exploit to get the shell or get the foothold on the target. Okay, so now, as you know, the Rapid7 is the owner of the Metasploit. Okay, so now we can go back to our terminal and let's launch our Metasploit console. All right, it's loaded up. Now we can use search keyword webmin and the several links. And this one, if you want to, you know, land it down webmin or you can use the CVE to, to search. So CVE number is this one. This will give us more precise, more correct or correct result. Yeah, I think this one is what we want. So we can use this option. Sorry, not option, this module. And we can copy selection and paste in here. Then. I think, first of all, I do not need to change any payload to try. If this, pass, this payload cannot work, and then we can try something else, okay? So for now, we can show 
options. And we need to set localhost to our Kali Linux. And we also need to set a local port number. For me, I always, uh, I'd like to change this to my favorite, to favorite one, 555. And also we need to set a remote host to our target. And port number, remote port number, we do not need to change. And also serve host to our Kali Linux and set maybe also we can use the same we do not need to change this server port number to listen on okay if you want you can change anyway so also this one ssl force you know maybe you know when we uh, you, you just uh, now if you run a directory maybe you cannot um, uh, get what you want you can open up this website or this web application. Press enter. Yeah, it's so try the HTTPS version. So as you can see here, because the HTTP cannot work, any HTTPS. So it means that we need to set the SSL to true. Otherwise, this module will not work at all. So now I think I've already configured all required options and we do not need to change anything else. So for now, we just run it. It looks like it's working fine. And then Commander shell session opened ID. Even we got the loot shell. And can we navigate to home directory? However, we have some problem with this shell. You know, although we have really get, got the initial shell, but we cannot make a navigation across uh, different directories. For example, can we navigate to loot directory? We still in within the same directory. So how to do? Maybe we can spawn another shell and this shell can help us to make a free navigation, okay? And also we can check the netcat. Netcat is there because netcat is easier way to, to get the reverse shell, okay? And maybe I'd like to zoom in the terminal so we can set up the listener. Of course, we need to use different pod number or free pod number on the Kali Linux. And now we can netcat. For the number, press enter. However, we didn't get another shell, okay? So maybe this cannot work. And we can try something else. I mean, some other reverse shell command like this one. And I just copy. You can get it from the pen test monkey website. And now we can go back to the target shell we can use, the bash. And paste in here and press enter great as you can see we have already got another shell which looks nicer right and now i think we can make navigation freely and go there is of course we have already got the loot shell so i can we can navigate to any uh, where right and we can cut the user flag and also, if you want, we can navigate to loot directory to get the loot flag. So that's much it I'd like to do in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.